Hey, what's up guys? Dorian here. And today I'm going to show you how I did this Eagles design from the NFL team, the football team. And we're just going to go ahead and get started. No warm up or nothing. So here I'm using the hair design stencil. And I'm going to start with the beak or the mouth of the eagle. Whatever you want to call it works. And um, I like to start with very prominent areas. And I feel like the mouth and the eyes are an area that's very important to do and get right. So that's why I choose to start with the mouth or eyes because it's very prominent. It's like the it's like the front of the face and you don't want to mess up the front. So yeah, I'm just doing some outline work right now on the beak. Um, and the good thing about using the hair design stencil is that if you mess up and you don't like what you drew, it comes off with aftershave. And you'll see that later on. That uh, I kind of messed up like the top of the head and the bottom of the eagle. And I just used aftershave. And I put aftershave on the neck strip and it comes right off very easy. It's like I never even made the mistake. And honestly, doing designs this way is like a, it's like a fail proof. Um, it helps avoid making mistakes. Uh, I got some controversy out there. Some barbers are saying, hey, that's cheating. I freehand my designs, but their designs are not looking better than mine. And, uh, well, hey, I freehand the stencil, man. Whatever gets the job done. And right here, you can see that I didn't like what I drew, so I do erase it with aftershave. So this is a foolproof way to do designs. If you're not that good at just straight up freehanding designs, I'm not. This gets the job done. This does. It, it, it works. It just works, Bethesda. Okay? <laughs> so I just finished most of the face. I did the eyes already. Now I get to do a little bit of like that neck and body. Not the entire body, but just the logo, you know, the rest of the logo. And this is gonna help make sure that I do even the outside right. Because kind of eyeballing it and making that next move blindly, that kind of that's not secure for me. So when I get to draw it with the stencil, I feel safer and more secure about my next move with the trimmer or the razor blade. And I see I just feel better about myself and safer for the client. I don't want the client to walk out of here with something that doesn't look like the Eagles design. So doing it with the stencil really helps. And then I'm gonna do like a double shade right here at the back and you'll see that later where uh, I just used the clipper zero and the razor blade to differ to differentiate I'm trying to say that word right to differentiate a different shade of zero and now I get to do the outline of the design and I'll let you guys see that I'll be right back start the inside of the design and uh, I'm doing this with the uh, retro t-cut it's an alright trimmer I got a review coming out on this trimmer it's not my best or well recommended trimmer but it gets the job done it's alright you guys will see the review uh, sometime later just make sure you guys subscribe and you guys will see the, the, the next video I got so yeah, I'm going to do the inside and pretty much I'm just balding everywhere that I did not do the stencil. That's just the way that I chose to artistically approach this design. And, uh, and now I'm just balding everything out on the inside. And uh, if you're wondering, I prefer Andy's trimmers. I was just stuck using this one at the moment. And yeah, we're just going to get everything down on the inside. I'm doing about a two-tone color for the back, like uh, the back neck area of this. You guys will see it. This is the first tone that's going to be shaved, and the second tone will be back there. And yeah, pretty much I would just recommend that you guys take your time. Um, make sure you drew something that you like and you think would be okay first. Um, and if you feel like you're not ready to approach with this design, then uh then go back and draw it again just just draw it all over again 
usually when I schedule these designs, they're my last haircut of the day. Just so that I can take as much time as I feel appropriate with this client. Because I know that a design, it's very hard for me to calculate how much time I'll take exactly on a design. And if you're wondering, I charged $60 for this design. Everything included that you're about to see. $60. And it took me 90 minutes. I make more money cutting hair, but designs are eye candy and I enjoy those too. And now we're gonna use shaving gel. I'm using Elegance and I'm gonna use Shampoo Blades, which is the razor blade that's going inside my blade holder. If you're wondering what blade holder I'm using, it's the Detailed Barber's Blade Holder. It has a minimum exposure. So yeah, use a good shaving gel, a very good razor blade, which is Shapu Blade. It is the best razor blade I have used by far. And my blade holder is, is a minimum exposure. You can find that at detailedbarbers.com. And, uh, and it grabs the blades perfectly. Uh, very minimalistically exposing the razor itself. So uh, it, overall, I just believe it has a better grip on the razor blade than a razor blade that is super exposed. I don't like that extra exposed razor blade. It, it makes the razor blade feel more flimsy and weak, uh, like the razor blade bends while I'm shaving. I don't like that. So minimum exposure allows for the best shave possible. And this is that two-tone thing I was talking about back there, where the back of the logo has like a lighter color. And then uh, it kind of, it's like feathers almost on his neck area. And yeah, just be thorough with it. I'm using a stainless steel comb there. Stainless steel, man, that's the future. Don't use plastic. You can find those at detailedbarbers.com. That's the future. Stainless steel comb. They're way better than plastic combs. And now we're just gonna do a skin fade and I already shaved everything on the sides. I just did that real quick. I was blocking the camera so I, I kind of cut that out. And now we're gonna fade that out on the sides. That's a razor fade there. And I'm using a aftershave again. And that's, that's just gonna completely erase everything that I drew with the stencil. And we're pretty much done, guys. Um, I'm using a Kiss Express hair color. This is darkest brown, that's the color that I'm using. And this is gonna make the design pop, man. The design is gonna pop very good. Honestly, I think it's okay to overdo your designs a little bit with semi-permanent hair color. It's totally fine to overdo it because designs, they're already a bold statement, man. If someone's getting a design, they don't care about what's on their head. They just want it to look good. So go ahead and use color enhancements. You can use eyeliner, Graphitech, but I would recommend that you use Kiss Express because it's a, it's a semi-permanent and it'll last a few days and it'll it'll just make the design pop all these lines they just stand out more and it does make a difference it's very good but yeah we're almost done here we're, well we are done actually <laughs> and yeah this is how i do my designs uh, i'll show you how i did this bulldog design you can actually see the full video for that on my youtube channel make sure you subscribe and uh yeah Hit that like button if you guys thought you learned something new today. Um, honestly, I just want to show you guys the easiest way to doing designs. And without the hair design stencil, I wouldn't be able to do most of the designs that you'll be seeing here in a, in a bit. I'm going to show you guys more designs in a bit. But yeah, just like this bulldog, just like the eagles design, this is just a way to help... Um, what's the word I'm looking for? To help make sure that you draw out your design good, and this is just to avoid any mistakes. Your designs are gonna look top notch if you use the hair design stencil. Like the Sonics right here, you're gonna see a bear right here. The bear came out nice, better than I expected. I've never done a bear before. I did an elephant, that's not in this video. And yeah, um, if you guys have any questions, follow me on Instagram at Dorian the Barber. I'll, I'll put that link in the description. And if you have any questions, I'll respond on Instagram for sure. So yeah, man, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications. I got a few more videos coming out. Um, this is just the beginning. So yeah, man, stay tuned and peace.